So this question starts off by giving us two equations stacked on top of each other, which typically means we're dealing with a system of equations question. And usually if we see a system of equations, we're going to solve that system or answer the question using either elimination as a method or substitution. So hopefully these terms sound familiar to you as ways to solve a system of equations. So we have our system here. The question says for the solution x, y to the system of equations above, what is the value of x minus y? So it's a very straightforward question in that we have this system here, 7x plus 3y equals 8, and 6x minus 3y equals 5. We're asked to find the xy solution, which basically means we want to solve for x and solve for y. So I'm going to use the elimination method because, as you can see here, 3y is positive for the first equation, is negative for the second equation. So those two will automatically eliminate each other when I add the equations together. So when I add the equations together, I get 7x plus 6x, which is 13x. 3y minus 3y, again, is eliminated, right? Because that's just 0. And then 8 plus 5 is 13. Divide both sides of the equation by 13. And what I end up with is that x is equal to 1. So there's my x value. So now once I have my x value, I can plug that x value into either of these original equations. I'm going to just take the, the top one. So Again, I have 7x plus 3y equals 8. I'm going to replace x with 1. So 7 times 1 plus 3y equals 8. So 7 plus 3y equals 8. Subtract 7 from both sides. 3y equals 1. And then um, divide by 3. So I'm left with y equals 1 third. Okay, now the question wants me to find the value of x minus y, so that would be 1 minus 1 third. Again, in order to subtract fractions, I need to have a common denominator. So I'm going to replace 1 and say, well, that's the same as saying 3 over 3, right? So 3 over 3 minus 1 over 3. Again, I did that to have a common denominator. So then once you have a common denominator when you're adding and subtracting fractions, the denominator remains the same. I subtract the numerator, so 3 minus 1 is 2. So therefore, the final answer here is 2 thirds, which is choice 